Hey guys, welcome back to another very interesting video of our channel Versatile Knowledge. And in this video, I'll be telling you guys how you can set up sidecar on your MacBook Pro 16 inches. So this is my latest MacBook Pro 16 inches, which is running on the latest Mac OS Catalina. And this is my iPad. So sidecar is a feature where you can use your iPads uh, as a secondary display to your MacBook Pro uh, devices. So this actually works on uh, the MacBook Pros uh, that is released recently. Uh, I'll be putting up uh, which are the different MacBook Pros uh, that will be supported for the sidecar in this uh, text that you can see below. And uh, in order to enable uh, the sidecar feature or in order to set up the sidecar feature, the process is very simple. First thing is you have to keep your iPad just next to your uh, MacBook Pro device. And then what you have to do is you have to use your Spotlight functionality just uh, use the command and spacebar to use the spotlight and just type side car and uh, once I click on the side car like this uh, So the sidecar just opens. Uh, as you can see, the sidecar feature just opens on my MacBook Pro. As you can see, it's, it says uh, uh, show sidebar. This is the sidecar features uh, that shows on the MacBook Pro. It says uh, connect to the select device uh, option that is present over here and then show sidebar on the left, uh, show uh, touch bar, enable double tap on Apple Pencil feature is present over here. And then just click on uh, the uh, device that is present and iPad has been successfully converted as a secondary display uh, on our uh, uh, MacBook Pro. As you can see, it has been successfully connected, guys. The process is extremely simple, guys. As you can see, it has been used as a secondary display. Services, preferences, as you can see, every other functionality that you need on your Apple device is perfectly working. If you have a photo editing or video editing purpose, uh, the sidecar feature works extremely fine. And uh, the normal set of functionalities that you want to do on your iPad will also be available. As you can see, the normal iPad functionality is also available and uh, your Apple device or the laptop functionality is also available. You can, you can just make this as a secondary display. You can open a window on your MacBook Pro and drag it onto your sidecar connected device onto your uh, iPad. As you can see, I have dragged uh, this uh, onto my iPad. And if you want to open any windows like this, I want to open a first window over here. I want to see side by side like, uh, you know, I want to, uh, you know, open one tab over here and second tab over here. I can do that as well. And as you can see, the second tab has been opened successfully over here. And one brilliant thing is, whatever is the resolution of your secondary display whether it is a normal ipad or if you're using an ipad pro uh, the apple sidecar software has been so well optimized uh, that it gets adjusted to the resolution and to the window absolutely fine so it doesn't have any scaling issues it doesn't have any resolution issues i just moved the tab from here to here as you can see if i just want to move it back i can move that as well if i just want to close this tab on this uh, uh, secondary display i can close this tab as well if i want to open any tab uh, from my google chrome just open in new tab and i'll just drag this new tab onto my uh, secondary display and I on the top bar I just click on double click and it gets adjusted to the resolution and it gets adjusted to the screen size of the secondary display okay, guys, as you can see I'm going to YouTube over here on my second uh, display and I'm opening uh, you know uh, Google on my first display Hi there, this is Ranjit and in this video, let's do the review of the Samsung Galaxy S10 Lite. And guys, I have been actually testing this with, for the last seven days. So I'll divide this review between the pros and cons. And I've also taken a lot of... And as you can see, I can just play a video on my uh, iPad over here and I can keep browsing my uh, MacBook Pro for uh, other websites or whatever other things that I want. And brilliant part over here is you can control the, uh, you know, keys that is present on uh, your uh, uh, iPad just by using the MacBook Pro's uh, keyboard. As you can see, you can use a MacBook Pro's keyboard, keyboard like this, type on your iPad just because it acts as a standalone secondary display and all the functionalities of this iPad is being controlled by the faster display itself and when you are playing a video the speaker of the macbook pro is used as the speaker and this only acts as a display guys which is a brilliant feature as you can see i will play a video over here and i'll show how the speaker will be using the same macbook pro speaker and the video will be played over here hey what's up guys i'm kbhd here 
So a question I've seen with increasing frequency over the past couple years is, are we at peak smartphone right now? Have we hit peak smartphone? You know, it's something that just seems to get said a lot now. Like, yeah, you know, smartphones are all kind of the same. I think we're at peak smartphone. It seems like every new phone coming out these days is basically the same as the last one with some minor tweaks. And there's no big rip. As you can see, uh, you know, the video is being played on this device, uh, the iPad and uh, the speaker of the MacBook Pro is being used for the playback. And one brilliant part is the iPad's display just supports uh, the video playback up to 1080p on its native iPad's YouTube application. But when I'm using Sidecar, it will be using the uh, Google Chrome's, uh, you know, YouTube feature to play the video up to uh, 1440p and the 4K or whatever highest level of video quality that it can play uh, but the quality difference you will not feel that much because of the screen real estate guys as you guys can see i'm playing in 4k right now um, the native youtube app doesn't support 4k but when i'm using sidecar uh, without any wires or without any connection just with the uh, apple sidecar feature it is absolutely working perfectly fine wirelessly we are using the display of the ipad as our secondary display uh, for the macbook pro spend a thousand dollars on this when you already have last year's thousand dollar phone so yeah maybe we've reached peak smartphone so i see all this and as the guy that's so guys as you can see the requirements for the sidecar to be used on your macbook pro and your ipad device uh, has been mentioned on the 9 to 5 mac website uh, for mac os it should be having a macbook which is introduced in 2016 or later imac introduced in 2016 or later a mac mini introduced in 2018 or later mac pro macbook pro introduced in 2016 or later and ipad it supports ipad pro of all models ipad 6 generation or later ipad mini fifth generation and ipad air so if you have bought any devices uh, you know earlier to 2016 uh, i don't think so you have the support for uh, the sidecar feature guys i can browse all my folders like my photos or my videos on my ipad and i can just drag and drop uh, that movie or that particular video i can browse my files on my secondary display and i can just use my apple's uh, macbook pro display uh, to edit those files side by side if you are having a latest ipad that is the ipad pro then you will not feel any stutters or then you will not feel any lag or anything for a prolonged period of time so guys that was it for the setup of the sidecar and how to use it it is a very simple process guys the process is absolutely simple just hit on the spotlight and search sidecar and just set it up apple has made the setup process of sidecar so easy that you don't have to search or you don't have to do uh, any sort of uh, installation of application or something else it is just cooked right into the mac os catalina and ipad os 13 so that's it for this video guys if you guys have liked this video please hit the like button share this video with your friends and subscribe to the channel for more interesting videos as this one thank you for watching guys